Hello, uh, after some requests I thought I might put load a video of my street organ onto YouTube. Uh, this is a project I'm making for my GCSE systems and control. And uh, yes, hope you like it. A little look at the interior mechanisms, this is the bellows, which are operated by this eccentric shaft here. Down, which then fills the balance box with air. That pressure release valve lets all the air out when it gets to the top so they don't explode. Here's the all important winding handle. The music found in the pressure box, which goes over a tracker bar underneath, around the front see the uh, front of the organ, and my uh, little organ mouse there. Uh, only 13 pipes on this organ, I ran out of time, um, but I will add more pipes when I get, um, once this has been examined. With a catch, the organ front pulls down, like so, revealing all of the hosing which connects to each pipe which goes up into there which is underneath the tracker bar. The base pipes which I haven't put on um, have been plugged up with orange plasticine. Down here are the two motors which work together to power the bellows. Um, and they're the rather weedy springs which put my air under pressure. Sorry about the rather awkward viewing position, but uh, my uh, bedroom's a bit cramped for space, especially with an organ in it. Um, The organ music then has to be rewound. So the take up the feed spool is positioned on its cradle like so. So oh. um, mm -mm. ah, there it is. Then find my specialist rewind handle or an Allen key. This is then rewound like so. So that's my organ. Not bad for only 13 pipes and for only running on one and a half inches of pressure. It should be working on four inches of pressure and should be much louder. However, due to time restrictions and the fact that the motors I'm using are rather weedy, uh, four inches of pressure has had to have been sacrificed. Um, this will be remedied once I get this home after it's been examined. Thank you very much for watching.